My name is Sean Thies and I'm here today to interview Dr. George Beckhoff about dental diode lasers. Dr. Beckhoff is a laser physicist with a PhD in lasers and optics. He has over 30 years experience in laser research design and manufacturing of advanced medical laser systems. He has authored and co-authored two scientific books and more than 100 peer-reviewed scientific publications in international journals. Dr. Beckhoff manufactures se several types of lasers, including the Spectralase Dental Diode Laser. Dr. Beckhoff, can you tell me a little more about your background? Well, probably let's start from the beginning. I graduated from one of the, the best uh, technical universities in the world, Moscow Physical Technical Institute. It's like uh, MIT in this country, and I worked uh, for uh, Soviet Academy of Sciences, and in '92, uh, U.S. government uh, offered me some position to develop a plutonium detector based on the laser spectroscopy methods which I developed, and that's why so I'm sitting now here and talking to you. Very impressive. Now, some discount laser companies claim that all diode lasers are the same, and they recommend purchasing the least expensive laser. Are all dental diode lasers the same? No, no. Just uh, for, 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 for laser beginners, laser de de dental beginners, I would say let's compare with well-developed industry like car industry. If I say that all uh, cars are the same, of course not. So, they, But they all have some wheels, body, engine, but their reliability differ very much. Same thing in uh, in. Uh, laser business, laser dental business. Um, everything depends on the reliability of the components the laser consists of. And then one of the major, most critical component is laser diode. And uh, everything depends how long is life of this laser diode, who manufactured it, how reliable it is. Therefore, you cannot say that all lasers are the same. And also in the process of manufacturers, uh, manufacturing, a manufacturer may cut corners, putting some very cheap components, and uh, instead of a laser run many years, it will be two, three years, and uh, laser will need replacement. So this is the high quality laser with high quality parts? Yes, that's true, like everything in our life. Okay, perfect. Now, are all semiconductor diode chips the same? No. You touched the, the, the topic, which is uh, a very, very high tech. And the reason is that um, the, the laser chip consists of several micro layers of, of different semiconductors. And to make them, them even and to make them very producible is very hard job. Therefore, every chip is slightly different. It's like human character. They're, they're slightly different and therefore the laser module which will be based on that laser chip will be different from, from another laser module and then will, will require a special attention for manufacturer to make a, a reliable and, and, and calibrated laser. Are all dental diode lasers safe? Uh, not really. Mm, again, everything depends uh, what safety measures a manufacturer put in, in their laser system. Uh, we have special blocks in, in our diode laser controller which tracks the output laser power. And we can set precision up to 5% or re in reality, so 15% is, is, is very good. It means that if laser shoots up over 15%, the system will, uh, th that system will shut down the laser. Not all laser systems from other manufacturers have these safe, safety features. Besides these technical things, so the, the other problem is, is possibility to disinfect the laser or sterility of the laser. It's again another problem with the, with the portable or, or micro lasers and some manufacturers brag about it, but I, I wouldn't. I understand that your laser exceeds the FDA safety requirements. That is true. That is true. We, we try to foresee possible complications of, of using laser power. Therefore, every step in our design was, was carefully 
uh, examined and therefore we we definitely uh, satisfy FDA and sometimes or over overdo them. Is it important to calibrate a laser? Yes, this is very important, and particularly that what uh, I would like to to speak to to dentists who who want to get on board of this laser dentistry. Then, uh, like every every one of us has a teacher in the beginning of our, of our maturity and in this case so you also will, will follow recommendation of some expert in, the, in laser dentistry and if laser is not calibrated you cannot follow it you buy a non-calibrated laser and you follow the recommendations you set the power to 1.2 watts for example laser won't cut but other dentists will set 1.2 and in reality it will be non-calibrated 2.5 watt which will harm the patient and then uh, you say no more lasers, and that uh, won't be true. But what's the reason for that? It's, it's just failure of manufacturer to calibrate the laser. It's a very important step, and no manufacturer should avoid it. Are all lasers on the market calibrated, and if not, why? Calibration is a very expensive procedure. I took calibration myself and uh, spent many, many hours to to align the laser very close output power to adjust it to what uh, 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 display laser display shows, not very not other not very many manufacturers do that. Some do, some don't, because just again save money and and cut corners on on the step of manufacturing. They think, well, okay, so someone takes the laser and then adjust the laser output to to the patient feelings or or something else, but it's a very dangerous approach. Does it sound like a very strict standard for some other laser companies? Yes, yes, it should be. Everybody should should follow this, and uh, actually, it's uh, uh, FDA now uh, is trying to to step up with this requirement.